The Cincinnati Zoo is getting a progress report via ultrasound of Fiona's new baby brother or sister due in mid-August now. This morning, we have that progress report courtesy of my co-anchor, Adrian Whitsett. It turns out getting a hippo kid to eat can be just as frustrating as with a toddler, but it is easy to feed Fiona's mom, Bibi, eating for two these days. The only thing that's kind of different to our routine is we are doing the weekly ultrasounds right now to kind of monitor the pregnancy and make sure that things are progressing as we would want them to. I talked to the Africa section's head keeper, Wendy Rice, Thursday, the day before the most recent ultrasound was performed, making sure the calf's growth is on track. But we're very hopeful that we'll have a full-term pregnancy this time and that Bibi will get to have that full experience of just being a mom and taking care of this baby all on her own. This surprise pregnancy, due to the fact that Bibi was on birth control, wasn't unwanted, but the zoo did think it had more time. It turns out this is Tucker's second breakthrough progeny. We may have to start looking at uh, hormone levels and tweaking things for into the future to make sure that the next baby arrives, hopefully on our timeline and for not her. Tucker's. And while they don't know just yet if it's a boy or a girl, a brother for Fiona would likely be easiest, at least according to Wendy. So I think a boy would be easier and I don't know. I just I like that I, the idea of that dynamic, the brother and sister thing. And I think Tucker needs a little backup on his side. It would <laughs> I think seem he's outnumbered. So. so I think that would be nice to even up the, uh, the genders in there. Adrian found out the zoo will start leaving Fiona and Tucker alone in the habitat overnight so Bibi can have time alone in a space she will feel safe and comfortable to give birth. As